Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking sunscreen, specifically the new Beauty of Josan Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. Now, Beauty of Josan has been killing it in the sunscreen game lately. I mean, rice and probiotic sunscreens basically gone viral at this point. They recently released the matte sun stick, which I gave a rave review. I think it's a fantastic product. And now we have the Ginseng Moist Sun Serum, a brand new release that's part of their very famous ginseng line. You have been asking me, <laughs> what are my thoughts about this brand new release? And you girls got some thoughts. So if you're so ready to find out everything about this sunscreen and what I think about it, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So let's talk ingredients. This is a fully chemical sunscreen that is achieving SPF 50 plus PA plus 4 protection using five all new generation chemical filters. Now I do also want to mention that this sunscreen does contain denatured alcohol. The other two sunscreen releases from Beauty of Jason do not contain a denatured alcohol. This particular formula does. I'll touch on this a little bit deeper later in the video. The ingredients list also does include five essential oils. Now, this is achieving some scent, but it actually wasn't as uh, scented as I was expecting it to be with five essential oils. I was expecting the smell to be quite heavy. Um, like many skincare products that have a lot of essential oils in it, it I don't know, it always has kind of like an odd smell. Um, it's not something that I particularly enjoy. Um, I have sensitive skin, so actually these ingredients aren't a great match for my skin, but just from the scent standpoint, I don't actually like the smell of essential oils. That being said though, I was really surprised that the scent of this product is quite light. I really had to dig deep, um, but I was getting like a woodsy citrus uh, type of smell from this, but it is incredibly light and it really doesn't linger. You'll smell it on application, um, but it will not linger with you throughout the day. You, you're not gonna get hits of this. It's not heavy, it's not cologne -y. So let's talk texture because this is what really uh, won me over, I think, with this sunscreen. Because, you know, if you've been watching my channel for like even one video before this, you know that like the those ingredients did not win me over. They were true beige flags for me, and they were kind of a disappointment when this was first released, uh, I have to admit. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later, um, but when I did get the product in my hands and I tried out the texture, I was like, hey, wait a second, this is different. And that's something that I've always respected about Beauty of Jason is that they're always doing something just a little bit different. They always seem slightly ahead of the curve. They're always taking a fresh approach to things. And so this is a true gel textured sunscreen. So many sunscreens right now are very lotion-like, creamy. They have an emollient feel to them. Sometimes you'll come across like a cream gel hybrid type of texture. This is almost more like a true gel texture, the way that it behaves on the skin really reminds me only of gel without any emolliency whatsoever. And you really cannot achieve that gel texture without denatured alcohol. This spreads beautifully and really thinly across the skin and it absorbs and dries so fast. Denatured alcohol really, really helping this formula out. You know, it's so important for your sunscreen to dry in a quick time because when your sunscreen is drying on your skin, it is protect it is creating that protective film on your skin. If your sunscreen is wet on your skin for a long period of time, there's just so much more chance of us accidentally wiping some of it off or like maybe we're changing clothes, right? And so like your shirt runs up against your face and now you've wiped some of your protection away with your sunscreen. So having a fast dry time really helps the protection of the sunscreen screen and so this one definitely dries super fast it doesn't have a wet feeling on your skin it dries incredibly quickly and it maintains this really light breathable film on the skin um, definitely a really nice and very different type of texture now the finish on this was also very impressive because I have been trying so many creamy types of sunscreens recently I was really surprised that this lacked a shiny finish this did not like look greasy on the skin it didn't even look dewy on the skin, I would almost classify this as a neutral finish. So it's not even like satin. Um, I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to call it matte. I think it really depends on the amount of oil that you already have on your skin. Um, but it's not going to add to any shininess that you might already have. It is um, a really, really, really nice finish to this. Uh, reapplies nicely, no pilling. This actually, 
So this works really well with makeup because it almost right at the top because it's not shiny because it's not slippery or like I was saying before like a wet finish on top of the skin. It actually almost has like a grippy finish. So it actually kind of doubles as a makeup primer. Like it kind of just has that sort of effect that makes your makeup look a little bit smoother. Um, I, I was really impressed with the finish of this and absolutely no white cast detected in sight. But I have to say, um, you know, I have been fairly positive about this sunscreen so far in the video. Um, but I do have to tell you that this sunscreen really did not pass patch testing for me. Um, something that's super important for anybody who's trying any new skincare, it's absolutely important if you're trying a lot of new skincare, like I personally do for videos, right? But it's also, it's vitally important for somebody who has um, sensitive skin like I do. And I actually have eczema prone skin as well. And um, you know, there's so many new folks here, uh, welcome. I do want to just touch on this really quickly about my skin type, just so that you can understand where I'm coming from um, with my review. So I do have sensitive skin. However, um, a couple of years ago, uh, I did develop a sensitivity to essential oils. Using them over time in my skincare actually uh, backfired on me and actually created a sensitivity specifically to those ingredients. And so um, I, I documented this on my YouTube channel where I did um, start to clear all of those ingredients out of my skincare routine and moving forward, I no longer use them um, in my skincare products. So you might be surprised, like why am I even reviewing this, right? Um, I wanted to review it because Beauty of on, as I mentioned earlier, um, is definitely a brand that I respect that's definitely been releasing really interesting skincare and especially sun care products over the last couple of years. But it's also something that you've been asking about too. And so, well, I had a pretty good um, like sense that this wasn't gonna work for my skin for the video, I did it. And I just, I couldn't go any further with it. However, I did, uh, not want to end the review there because I don't think that that's very helpful. So I actually gained a lot of my insights and information about this product by giving this over to my mom and asking her to test it because her skin, uh, her skin type is a normal skin type. It's neither uh, super oily nor super dry. Um, she uh, does have mature skin. She's in her fifties and she is incredibly sensitive to the sun. While her skin is not sensitive to ingredients the way that mine is, she will break out in a rash if she's not wearing sunscreen head to toe, like hats, protective sun clothing, right? So she's really the person to be testing sunscreen. She's also very fair skinned as well. And so I asked her to test this out for me and she was kind of like me, very impressed with the texture, very different than the other sunscreens that she relies on to protect her skin. She really liked that it wasn't heavy. A lot of the products that I love because my skin is so prone to dryness, she finds too heavy. So this is definitely something that is very light, very airy, very breathable. She really liked how it felt on her skin, the fact that it wasn't um, really wet feeling. She was also really impressed on how it worked underneath makeup. Um, that's where I got the information about the fact that it has almost a primer type of effect because her makeup looked so stinking smooth and good. Um, I was like, why does your skin look so good? She's like, I don't know. I just put that sunscreen on. Um, so it just, it gripped her makeup um, a lot better. It just kind of had like a nice sort of smoothing type of effect. I think it really just comes down to that finish not being um, shiny or having an emolliency to it, which can, can sometimes kind of shift your, your base makeup. So she really liked that. She did not experience any irritation from it or any dryness from it. So it's really interesting, like two perspectives here on this sunscreen. Um, you know, she really did enjoy the formula. She liked that it didn't have a heavy scent to it. She could smell the alcohol at first, a little bit of the essential oils, but it, it went away so quickly. It wasn't really a thing for her, um, but she really loved the finish. I'm going to give her my bottle when I'm done with the review. It's hers um, because she really does um, really enjoy this and she felt very protected with it as well. So I really respect this sunscreen. Well, I cannot use it. Um, I do respect it. Um, I think that this is definitely something that is going to work if you do have an oily skin type, especially because like there's no emolliency here. There's no wetness to this. There's no moisturization or shininess to this. So that gel texture is going to really, really, really be a great match for your skin. Even combination folks, I think are going to like this, that neutral finish, 
yes, of course, we can find this in other sunscreen products, but it's not common to get a neutral finish, especially in a Korean sun care product, because in um, Korea and South Korea, that slightly dewy kind of finish to skincare is definitely popular. And so it's hard to find a sun product that doesn't um, contribute to that, right? So just the finish and the texture alone are really impressive. I do have some greater criticism of this product that I do want to share. Um, you know, this product, I'm not going to yuck it for the, the denatured alcohol because I think I've demonstrated that you really need that in order to create this type of formula. The essential oils, I'm not here to yuck anyone's yum. If you like fragrance, use fragrance, definitely. Um, I don't think it's harmful to the skin at all. If you're sensitive to it, it's a different story, right? But I, I think that it can bring a lot of pleasure and joy into the skincare routine. I think it's important for a lot of people. I'm not here to take that away from anybody. The inclusion of the essential oils was definitely a surprise for me um, because I you know, Beauty of Chasan has, for the most part, been a, a pretty reliable fragrance-free brand um, and something that I have been able to go to on my fragrance-free journey and just feel very comfortable knowing that their products are going to suit my, my skin and my fragrance sensitivities. Now, they're not across the board a fragrance-free brand. Um, they actually didn't even start out that way. I've been following Beauty of Chasan probably since 2014 or 2015. I like started off with their Dynasty Cream. I think that was the only product they had for a long time they were such an indie and such an underground like brand it was you had to order directly from like Korea in order to get it because it was not that popular at the time or well known that product when it started off it did contain some fragrance in it and I know that a few of the products that they released like prior to like 2020 or so uh, did contain fragrance and those products including Dynasty Cream were um, renewed or reformulated to take the fragrance out and everything that they've released since then their serums um, you know the ginseng line up till now that's all been fragrance free and so I think I've gotten really comfortable with the brand like I said as a reliable go-to to not contain fragrance or essential oils in their products and that being said though Beauty of Joseon is a brand that is built on the heritage of Hanbang skincare um, and which is using all of the medicinal Korean ingredients like ginseng um, and there is a long long history and I think a, an expectation for Hanbang skincare to have a certain type of smell to it it's um, very strong um, and it is um, very unique a lot of the different medicinal herbs and roots and whatnot that are being used will give off a particular smell and there are other like legacy type of hanbang brands like i'm thinking like sulwaso which definitely has like a, a very robust fragrance to it right um history of Wu, definitely a robust sort of smell that is part of the heritage right of this uh, particular type of traditional uh, korean skincare and so i understand why beauty of Chosan may want to move into that direction going forward as they grow as a brand and as they more embrace uh, the, the history and the inspiration of their brand, they did create the Garden of Joseon line, which is a body care line that does have fragrance in it. Um, I think that is starting to embrace more of that, that Hanbang tradition. And so I see them kind of moving in that direction. And I respect that because like I'm saying, from the greater eagle eye perspective, this makes sense for their brand mission, right? Um, however, my criticism here really is that I was disappointed that this was released in the ginseng line because every product in the ginseng line does not contain fragrance does not contain essential oils whatsoever and so it was just more of like a surprise to me because it was just my expectation was there and this product on that front did not meet that expectation and so that's just like the greater kind of like critique truly that i have of this product does it make it bad no does it make it shady absolutely not does it make it like you know not a good choice for the brand no, it's just something that I wanted to kind of put out there because some of you may have been surprised. I personally was surprised too. And I think that, you know, going forward with Beauty of Chasan, if they want to move in this direction, I fully support that. I would love them to create maybe like a premium line um, of products where they are putting the scent a little bit more forward um, and really embracing that that full, like affordable, accessible Hanbang experience because so many of the brands that do follow that right now are so, so expensive. So like I said, like a premium line, 
that would be amazing or like a luxury line from beauty of just on that really kind of embraced that would be awesome i was just surprised it, it kind of threw me off but at the end of the day the product that they released it does live up to the expectation of um, an excellent product. I think that this is. So TLDR, too long, didn't read slash watch. Um, here's just my wrap up, the final word on this sunscreen. If you are oily skinned, if you're combination skin, and you do not have sensitivities to denatured alcohol or essential oils, I think you're actually going to love this. This sunscreen, this gel texture is so, so comfy. It's so light breathable the finish that neutral finish so great so if you don't like emollient moisturizing wet greasy types of sunscreens and you're not sensitive give this one a try i would honestly from that perspective i would rate this like a nine out of ten the only reason i'm taking a point off is because it's not sweat or water resistant, right? So I always knock sunscreens if they don't quite meet that benchmark. Um, so it's not gonna be suitable for swimming or for exercise or just like really, really hot days where you're sweating. But for casual sun exposure, I think this will be a very, very nice option, very lightweight. Taking into consideration my personal right experience, and of course that, that greater criticism that I just shared with you, um, my reading personally is a little bit closer to seven out of 10. Um, I still think this is a very good product. Like I said, I can't say this enough. I really respect it. I think this is gonna become incredibly popular. A lot of people are really gonna appreciate what this formula can do for them. So I hope that review was helpful for you. I did have to approach it in a slightly different way. Um, I wasn't so sure about it, but you've been asking so much for my thoughts on this. So I hope that this was helpful for you. And I'm curious if you've tried this sunscreen yet, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you watch this video and it did help you out, please, I would be so honored if you take a moment to hit subscribe before you leave, especially if you made it all the way through the end of the video. I mean, that's kind of rare on YouTube. So please come join our community. We love Korean skincare. We love gentle skincare. We love sunscreen. So come join the community and consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I post the new videos or shorts throughout the week. I'm very active here on YouTube. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me today, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.